preparation for the race for eight, it's, um, I guess now after doing this for 20 years, you kind of just, uh, it becomes a part of your lifestyle. So for me, it's simple to always want to stay, I don't want to say tournament performance shape, because it's kind of impossible to do year round, but for me, it's a daily routine, Monday through Saturday pretty much, to always make it to the gym to do something uh, more so, not just for handball, but for me it's essentially to uh, have a better life after competing, I guess, to make sure that you, know, you can enjoy your life after you get you know, beyond the years where you can't play competitively any longer and you want to do other things. Um, so for me it's just really about making sure that uh, I have the lifestyle uh, post 60, 65, where I can still do things actively and, and uh, not be, uh, in a sense, uh, crippled by not being, I guess, uh, health maintained is probably the best way to put that. And mentally? Mentally, yeah. It's, uh, so, you know, the race for eight, uh, for me, at the end of last year, I was drained. Uh, U.S. Open, I elected to play in the uh, doubles with Tati Silvera, which was a good choice. Um, but after that tournament, I really considered not playing anymore and uh, singles as the aspect of the, the level of play anyway. So I, uh, but then got a call from Dave Vincent and then a text message from Dave Fink, uh, senior tour, uh, action is alive and uh, accepted and approved. So I uh, got the, the juice pumping again and knowing that I wouldn't have to grind for an entire year. So mentally it was a sigh of relief, uh, but you know, here I am back in the same position I didn't want to be in. <laughs> but. I'm doing it anyway, you know, it's hard not to. A lot of good fans up here in Seattle. Being part of the Elite Eight, uh, it's a nice uh, accolade, but I think, you know, there's still probably two or three missing uh, players, and unfortunately they can't all be here, and that's kind of the, the beauty of the, of the uh, Race for Eight, or the Elite Eight. Um, you have a certain amount of tournaments you can attend throughout the year all over the United States. And uh, the ones who really want to be a part of it attend. And um, so, I, you know, to me, it's just at this age, at this, uh, I guess, uh, this part of my time capsule, I think it's, it's actually been uh, just, you know, a really nice gesture to be a part of this group and seeing that uh, we've got some really exciting players and uh, we've got Paul Brady here. And uh, to me, you know, this is uh, probably one of the biggest events of 2013. Uh, you know, and here we are in May. So it's kind of nice to have uh, an early uh, preview of the, this year's U.S. Open, which is what, essentially what this is. You know, being a part of this event, uh, this year, 2013, I'll, I'll call it the class of 2013. This is a really exciting group. Um, we've got Luis Moreno, who's been, you know, his 2012 season was impeccable, uh, almost defeated Paul Brady there in Ireland, which would have been something uh, we would have been talking about for a long time. Sean Lennings battled through some injuries here this year. Um, hasn't been at his best, but always plays well here. Um, Charlie Shanks is having an unbelievable 2013. Has really put some great wins together and, and uh, has done them convincingly. Uh, Paul Brady, what more can I say about Paul? Uh, as a gentleman off the court, on the court, um, but uh, just ferocious on the court and uh, you know, obviously everyone gives Paul the advantage. Um, you've got Dave Fink, uh, Emmett Pichot, and Andy Nett. Those guys, uh, as proven in Denver, almost took out Charlie Shanks, um, you know, as Emmett Pichot almost did. And then, uh, you know, just these guys are very competitive. Andy Nett's such a great athlete and a great gentleman off the court. And then to be thrusted in that group here at the last minute, uh, you know, all that said to me was, you know, Naughty can play still, and uh, so to me, I'll, I'll take that and uh, see what I can do here this weekend. Yeah, um, I think it's going to come down to the guy who, and this is easy to say, but the guy who can maintain uh, consistency and uh, er not error-free handball, because I think the game's changing a bit, the ball's a little bit faster, and, and uh, who can uphel uphold this pace. It's going to be interesting on this fast court, which every one of us have enjoyed since we've played on it from day one. So. Um, my prediction is a guy who can get that serve and keep it going. I think the reason I continue to travel and 
attend different events and meet new players and old players, uh, friends and family and whatnot. Um, it's just exciting. Um, it's, it's nice to get a compliment. It's nice to engage in a young player and seeing that same sparkle we had when we started playing. Just, uh, you know, those are one of the, the, the key things, but, you know, traveling, uh, to compete at a game that I love and being paid to do it. I, you know, I just can't imagine a, a better weekend hobby, we'll call it for right now, um, than, than doing what I'm doing now for the Race for Eight. Um, it's just been an absolute joy these last two years as far as, you know, off the court uh, activities, because it's a lot of fun. It's, you know, the fun is still there. And, and I think when the fun goes away, then obviously you probably won't see me as often, but it's still enjoyable to be around handball people people who actually love handball. So it's, it's simple at this point, just to, it's, it's just easy to do. Well, uh, favorite stop of the year. Um, it's tough to, <laughs> to say it now because we just got here for the WAC. Um, this is always one of my favorite events, uh, but we have gone to some really neat, uh, you know, uh, facilities, uh, gotten to meet, you know, Salt Lake was a fun one. Uh, those guys are always very, very rare. They're just, they're, just, they're honest and it's, it's a lot of fun with them. Uh, Houston was a good visit. Um, I, to say that I've had my favorite, I can't say. I just think this is probably one of my favorite seasons, uh, mainly because it didn't involve uh, as many uh, intense matches. So it allowed me to be a little more, uh, what's the word, uh, not carefree, but just a little more uh, engaging with the crowds. Um, and the, my, my opponents, uh, but uh, this all changes now this weekend. It becomes back uh, to real work and hard work here at the WAC.